November 1991, Wilson's House, Christmas. Wait, why did I say Christmas? Oh wait, it's kind of around the corner. Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. Wilson, what is it? You're about to find out in three, two, one. It's the Demogor Gym. Oh crap, we're in deep crap. What kind of crap is this? Hey, you shouldn't be squaring. My mom would be um not happy with you. You're right, Cuspin. Hey, Bill. Oh. Hey. What's his name again? Oh, I don't, I don't know. We're just gonna. Okay, whatever. Well, I gotta go. See ya. Oh yeah, we gotta go. I think just mama would be worried about us. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Good night, people. Good night. Three minutes later. And they're all freaking gone. What a great sign of relief. What the freak is that thing? Oh my gosh, I should get inside the car. What the freak is that thing? What the freak? I should close it all the way. Okay. I just hopped into a parked police car at night. What is that thing? It was like nine feet tall and had like, was its face really a flower? It, it had like 70 teeth. Okay. Oh, what the freak is that? Ah! Two days later. Hey, Mom. What is it, honey? Uh, it's okay if I can go out with my friends uh, to go to the park? Sure, just be okay. Don't talk to strangers, okay? Huh? A missing poster. Bill, four foot seven feet, twelve years old. Oh my gosh! What happened to that police car on the side of the road? It couldn't have been a car crash because it's parked on the street. It could have been a car crash, but there is not a car. And how would it, how would the door be open? They usually put child locks on them. I need to go tell mom about this. I think I should go to the news. Go tell mom that I gotta go to the park and she goes to the news. And when I get back, I'll see what's on live news. Oh crap, there's no cameras. Mom. I thought you were going to the park. <sighs> My friends are coming out of your house so we can all play Dungeons and Dragons again. Anyways, I gotta tell you something. There's a flipped over police car like 30 feet from our house. Do you know the cause of this? I don't know, honey. You must be tripping. Let me go see. Oh my God. This man is not tripping. But why is there actually a flipped over truck? <sighs> There's news people. Look, you can be on the news. There's news. I don't wanna. I'm just I'm gonna look at the news. Here we go. Hello everyone. It is 1991 officially. And this is live news. Here downtown LA, we have something really weird. Apparently there's a flipped over police car on the side of the road, about 30 foot 
from a house. Hello, I'm news reporter John, and we would like to report about this, and we do not know what happened, but all we know is that we found the body of Bill inside of the truck in the back. We do not know what happened this very time, but all we think happened is that maybe he caused a car accident, but no one knows where the car has gone from the accident. Rumors say that in the middle of the night, people say that there was a skeleton flower creature that climbed into the back of the truck and there was a lot of rumbling from the middle of the night. Here we have some camera footage. Look at this, this is camera footage from a house. Look, he's walking down. He notices the creature. He gets into the he gets into the truck. Then the demigorgon searches around the truck, then opens the door. The flower creature thing opens the door. It goes inside. Fells two times before the incident happens. And then the car is flipped over. It climbs out and then vanishes from the footage. Wow. I cannot believe this happened. Three weeks later. At Will's house. Please communicate with me. I don't know where you are and who you are. Please, Will, just communicate with me. Please. 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 The H responds, the I responds, <laughs> then the D, then an E. Well, uh, well, uh, what do you need by hide? What do you mean by hide? Look behind who? Oh God, oh. <laughs> Two days later. This is town to police department. My name's Jopper. These are my three police mates. And we're here to discover the mystery of the screaming in the middle of the night two days ago. We'll get in first. Y'all get in after. All right, we're in. Us two. Okay, so what are we doing again? We're investigating the screaming two days ago in the middle of the night. Some people say it came from a house two blocks away from Anderson neighborhood. <coughs> mm. You really have the perfect opportunity to just go there and you didn't. What kind of idiot are you? There was really a car on the other side of the road. Did you not just see that? Geez, are you blind or something? Oh geez, run over the car! And that is how you drive. I hate red lights. Me too. Was that the Ghostbusters truck? I think so. Well, anyways, we're free to go. We actually have a park back here. What am I doing? There we go. All right, ladies, get out of the car. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. I just stepped on a missing poster. Yeah, there's a lot of missing posters here. Hey, isn't that the kid that's missing, Bill? Yeah, there's another one named Billy.
Now you two get up and stop being lazy. We got a job to do. First, like any normal citizen will do, knock on the door. That wasn't a knock. No one's responding at all. I knew this would happen. Well, what else do we do? I say we go inside the house. But we shouldn't just bust down a resident's door. Listen, Henderson, it's what we gotta do. If you, if there's a missing person, you're screaming in the middle of the night in the neighborhood, and this is the house it came from, you gotta go inside and bust down the door and then say, "Police, drop your weapons, make yourself known." Okay. Police hair, make yourself known. Come out. Wah. You should have seen the work on your face. I don't care, Jopper. Jeez. Guys, I don't think you understand. This piece of evidence. What piece of evidence? Someone hang Christmas lots and drew the alphabet and then just marked hide on the wall? No. I heard about this. It's a communication to get with someone with their, when they're in the upside down. Looks like this girl tried communicating with someone in the upside down and said hi. Yeah, but what's up with all the blue fungus scratches on it? You mean those little things right there? What do you mean little? Those things are literally the size of me. I don't know, but anything that could have caused the scratches, it definitely wasn't human or animal. It was some kind of alien species creature. The only thing I know that could have caused that is the Demogorgon from the Upside Down. The Demogorgon? Aw, oh, shut up. We haven't dealt with that thing in five months. Well, it is a possibility it could have been the Demogorgon. True, but there's absolutely no way that could have happened. Well, we have to make the best. You're going first. Oh, fine. First, we gotta take this evidence down and see what's behind it. It's just the drawer. Yep, this is a crime. Someone knocking down the TV. Who did this to all my childhood shows? Especially Clifford the Big Red Dog. Could you stop? Who cares about PBS kids these days? Stop messing around, you fools. We found evidence. Look at that in the corner. Oh, I think I'm sick. Hey, does anyone know where the bathroom is, like, right now? No one knows where the bathroom is. Okay, fine, I'll just puke on the TV. <laughs> Jeez, if only someone would have taken me to the wash tub. We are not from the UK. You sound like from the UK. Oh, hit it with the hitter. Why is it upside down? Beep, beep, beep. Hawkins Laboratory. <laughs> Laboratory on kids. Two week. If only I could just use Manic Force to use the Force. Look. There. Now, as I was saying, I was like, you have mind powers or something. Like, I crushed the can two days ago with my bare hands. I can use it with my mind. Oh, oh, yeah. What you guys doing up here? Did you knock off? This is 12. Watch this. See this Peppa Pig? I can change it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Oh, good plan. Goodbye. Why, what are you doing? What are you doing? Beep. Called your best friend up for some reason. Take me down to the sex floor. The one floor. Sorry about that. I'm taking out this lap. Come back, lap. Well, well, Bill. 
flip. Bill's not here. Bill! 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 If you come out, I'll let you be in Attack on Giants Part 6. That's already out. Oh, yeah. Wait, who said that? Oh, wait. Someone coming from the bushes. Is that Bruce Wallace? Are we there yet? Take about 20 minutes. It's a really far drive. Twenty minutes later. Yo, that was slick. Yeah. My thing only one that feels left out because I only play Super Mario Bros. and Galaga. You don't even have the SNES. Wow. You're poor. Listen, I'm sorry. I only have like two hundred dollars. How are you not living under a rock? I'm just kidding, I have like a thun a hundred thousand. Then you should get a gaming console. I don't wanna cause then their cost cause now they cost like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, you're right. At least you're the one that doesn't have a million. Could we stop freaking making bully jokes? Now let's give you run back now. All things well. What do you want to do? I gotta check the Hawkins, no, the laboratory, the kids' laboratory for mind powers. Okay, let's see on the screen. Beep, 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 beep. Twelve's missing. Come on, we gotta go. It says she's located at. She's located in a neighborhood. Come on. Where are you from? The kids' mind power laboratory. I'll go cook breakfast for us. Okay, whatever you say, Mom. Wait, look. There's an FBI truck outside a window. Look. You know, I'm thinking of just getting inside the house. Crap, it's the FBI truck. Oh my god. Go, 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 take the girl. This is my mom's car. I'm 14. She said I could drive it now. We're gonna use it to escape. Six o'clock in the morning, bro? Yeah. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. What just happened? Welp, I guess we're going to the lab. Okay, Bruce Walls. My name's 12. Whatever. Now, why are we here? <sighs> we're here to get one of my friends in a secret brace. Whatever you say, Bruce Walls. My name is not Bruce Walls. Okay, whatever. Room's nine. And he's on the top floor. He usually goes up and down the elevators. You mean Christian Buchanan? That guy lives in Tennessee. Jeez, no. And you can predict the future like 2011. We gotta sneak back in. Don't get caught. Like, seriously, don't get caught. If you get caught, oh, you'll get sued. It's here. Don't let them get seen. Oh, they love them. There you are. Take a peek. Oh my God. What do we do? What do we do? Stand back. Up. This is why I hate scary creatures. Seriously. 
I swear, Demogorgon, I will fight you on this elevator. <laughs> wow, it's going up. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Float you. Eleven, eleven, twelve. Stay here. Stay. Well, I'm here to help you. Fine. Wait for the elevator calmly. That's usually its main. What the fuck? Chase! One of the guards! Wait, why is he up? Oh wait, that's crossed in! I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, okay, okay. I just got possessed by something, jeez. Stand back, everyone. Get in the elevator. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Billy. No, Bill. Bill. You're still alive.